Hey guys, it's Lola and you're watching Lola X Annie. So today I'm here with another character arc because I missed one in October. So here we are with a November's character arc for Sherlock and it is my strad. So, season one. They're both separate as important figures in law and government. So we don't see them interact at all, but we can understand that they probably know each other from very long ago. Um, and in season two, Hounds of the Baskerville proves what we thought in season one. I don't always do what your brother tells me to do. See, my strad, the sorry, my strad, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Mycroft and Lestrade knew each other from long ago and obviously Mycroft tells Greg to do a lot of things and Greg being Greg probably does them all but likes to pretend that he doesn't do them all, so essentially. Um, they definitely know each other. In the Reichen Backfall, I wonder if one of the reasons Greg is on the list of people close to Sherlock alongside Mrs Hudson, who's basically his second mother, and John, who basically he's in love with, is because Greg is close to Mycroft. Could it be? Could it be? Is this just wishful thinking? You never know. Then on to season three. The most important moment for my Shad fans across the globe there was an interaction. Oh, it was 15 seconds long, but it was still an interaction, which is all we asked for. All we wanted was an interaction from our favourite two ship that have never met each other until season three, which is essentially like six years into production, we finally got it. <laughs> it's clear that Greg and Mycroft have done this before, where the little scene in season three in his last vow. It's a common occurrence uh, because that place that they met is not just Mycroft's normal office, but it's his secret government office. So obviously Mycroft trusts Greg a lot if he's taken them into his secret office. The Bumble Bride is something important to note because obviously it's set in the Victorian era, but we do get another important moment for my Shad fans, which is the graveyard scene. So if it's in Sherlock's Vine Palace, then it must be true, right? Obviously, it's something that in Sherlock's mind, Greg and Mycroft are a force to be reckoned with and they are who help him out in moments where he can't help himself and John is beyond his powers. But it's the longest interaction they have had that we have seen. We never know they could be living together, we just don't know. But it has been said that Mark Gratis has said that he would like to kiss Rupert Graves, so hopefully that happens. If we don't get a John Locke kiss, at least we may get my shot kiss. Anyway, on to season four. So my predictions are that we were gonna get more interactions. I just think Greg is gonna play a bigger part in season four, well I hope at least. Um, and I would like um, some Greg at Mycroft's flat as Sherlock just barges in. And also I just want something to make the relationship canon. It doesn't have to be a kiss. It can just be a little saying that just cements their relationship. That's all I want because we know that Greg is no longer with his um, wife. But there is a chance that I think Greg and Molly might get together, but I mean I wouldn't be opposed to it, but just give us my chrome, just give us my stride, please, just give us that. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon with another one. Bye!